Hi guys, Dan here. Welcome back to another episode of Toy Box Vlogs. Um, yeah, it's Saturday evening. Sorry, I was hoping to do a video this morning when I got in, but oh, I was a bit late getting up. Um, as you can see, no sign of Will on the stairs because he's not here, unfortunately. He's still at his grandparents. So, yesterday, I did a quick video over at the other shop over at Houseworth when I was there, just to go around to show everybody what sold, what didn't over Christmas. And I thought I'd quickly do another one over here at Beckles, at Toy Box. So, without further ado, we'll start here. As you can see, the TY stands over there. Both got mini um, beanie boos on because we sold really well on the mini boos and on the teeny ties. So they're sold really well. Hopefully do a new order in the next couple of weeks when we go to Toy Fair. See all the new products for 2019. The pocket money sort of gifty collectibles sort of section this bit. It's got like LOLs and unicorns and key rings and bits and bobs we've reduced quite a few of the old lines and as you can see there's a few empty spots at the bottom so hopefully fingers crossed we get quite a lot of new lines in soon uh crazy aaron crazy aaron so has sold really well for us over christmas but we got a delivery in literally the week before christmas so up the top it's quite full and it's got a few nice new ones for christmas so you got um blah, 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 blah. north pole there mystifying mermaid I think uh, Monkey Business was new as well, and a couple of others. So yeah, so that's nice and full. Bending the Ink Machine hasn't really gone as well as I'd hoped. That's that's all I'm going to say about that. Hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. Um, Scruff Loves, we got the stand in just before Christmas with product. That's gone really well. That looks full, but at the moment it's not. It's um, like there's only a couple behind there. So yeah, so yeah, so that's gone well. Uh, pocket money section again whoopee cushions we've got like three left flown we'll have to get some more of those in sharpish uh slime putty all those bits and bobs and these squidgies like a squidgy light bulb they've um they've all been really really popular just of late especially this one banana i don't know if that's the sound so if you can hear that yeah loads of people like those Top model, yeah, that was really good for us. Again, um, we've actually got probably less stock than what the boss has got, looking at that. Got a load of tiaras in yesterday, so staff put them on there for the time being. Uh, moving around, Dino World. That was okay. It wasn't as strong as I'd hoped it was going to be. These went well. The um, the little masks, quite a lot of customers seem to put on. Oh, phone's ringing. Just going to pause the video, be back in a sec. So, where were we? Sorry, the phone was ringing now. I had to answer that. That was the boss. Just checking to see what sort of day we've had. Right, moving along. Over to this side. Um, craft section. Yeah, that had gone really well. Hence why we've now got twisty pets up here. We've put the twisty pets up there. They're, they are a good, strong seller for us. And again, like over at Houseworth, we got fresh stock of that just before Christmas. Um, pretty much on here is all pretty standard. That's all gone steadily. These didn't go so well. We had high hopes for stink bombs. You saw the video, I think a few videos back when Will opened one of them up. His face was a picture, they really do stink. But yeah, with half price those down six pound. Pokemon, I slowed a bit, but I think they'll have a resurgence next month for the film coming out. We've got the Pokemon movie, haven't we? Um, was it February? I can't actually remember. I have got it, written it down. No, um, May, May, that's due out. And then again, we topped up on the three pound Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, sorry, uh, Crazy Aaron Putties. It's been a long day, it's Saturday. Uh, uh, Slyke, nice and full there. Uh, we had a good clean out of that um, after Christmas. And there's a few new ones for 2019. And I received the catalogue today. There's some really cool ones coming out later this year. Solvanian families, again, they've sent in a few new lines already for 2019. We've currently got the window in at the moment on collectibles. And, um, yeah, new nursery bathroom set there. Basically, the packaging's changed slightly, so how can we know it's new? Nursery party set. I think the donut store there is new. And then we've got the baby tree house and baby um, airplane ride. So they're new in. Uh, Orchard Toys, that sold really, really, really well for us. Again, new order coming in later, towards the end of the month. Games, same over at Houseworth, really. 
we did really well with games, but not as much as we thought we were going to sell. So, fingers crossed, we'll have a good games year this year. So, we'll see, see how it goes. Lego, again, we're waiting for this big Lego delivery, hopefully in the two weeks' time. I was told 17th of January, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that will be here next week. When it is, we we'll, might do a quick video on what new and what we've had in. And minifigures, we've been told we should see the week after, which is Movie 2 minifigures. Uh, jigsaws, that was good. Normal year, we've ran out of the port puzzle boards, they've all gone. Got to get some more of those on order. VTech, that was very good for us. Definitely need to do an order on that soon. And again, preschool was very, very good for us, really. Really good, we're quite pleased with how well that went. Especially the Halalit range that we've tried here. Please, with how well that's gone, I'll definitely be getting some more of that in. And then quickly moving upstairs, the TY stand, as you can see, looks full, but it's not full. Believe me, it's not. Flippables usually have their own stand, and then the normal and rest of the stand is pretty much full, full, sorry, with these mini boots. But if we move around the back here, let's pull this out. Around the back is completely empty since Christmas so definitely we'll be doing an order with young Chris at TY when we see him uh, on the stairs we had a delivery yesterday from Peter King so we're topped up on packs of dinosaurs reptiles farm uh, um, army men and all that Slike didn't go as well as I thought I thought we might have shifted a few more of these bigger barns but no, but not to worry. That's all going to be current for this year, for 2019. And then upstairs, in the RC and everything, RC was particularly good for us. We did go okay with, uh, with a lot of the remote controls. Um, Air Hog Sonic Rocket there. I think there's only a couple left, so that's good. FX Kits and Revel, that went really well. Again, superb with farm. So we'll be getting more farming soon. Like I said yesterday, not much new due in this year from either CQ and Britons, so wait and see on that. And science, kinetic sand was very good for us as well. As you can see, these are literally just ones left here. There's quite a few of those left, but yeah, that was good. Pleased with that. Scale electrics wasn't as popular as we first thought, but we've got plans for that. You can see the crocodile's back. We did sell him. Well, we did sell one, and we've had to buy another one because uh, we thought a customer wanted one, but they've changed their mind. Um, Playmobil. Playmobil was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Really pleased with how well that went. So we've got a fresh order of that. Hopefully next week that's due in because boss has had the bill for it, so it's on its way. Right, Billy Bob. Um, yeah, our Nerf guns, not many of them. I'm going to try and get more Nerf in this year. I think it could be a year for Nerf. I think mainly down to the fact of the Fortnite game that every, every single child under the age of 15 seems to be playing at the moment. Um, Bruder. Bruder was very good, very strong. You can see there's lots of gaps there. So we'll be um, definitely doing another Bruder order soon. Dolls. Dolls have picked up a little bit, but not much. Um, still not as popular as they once were. But we sold... Sold a few over Christmas, and that's all been pretty pretty general, really. Um, I'm just going to check to see. I can't remember if I locked the stockroom door or not. Let me just check. Oh, it's unlocked. I'll just switch the light on. I just want to show you guys, talking about the scale electrics that um, didn't sell as well as we'd hoped over Christmas, because we used to sell the odd scale electric set, but we're hoping to sell a bit more. As you can see here, we have a lot of Skeletrix track. We have acquired quite a lot of track over the last few years. Um, one customer came in one day and asked me if I wanted to buy some track, and I said yes, quite happily. So I bought all this track. This is the old style track, as you can see, it needs a good clean, so it's going to get a bit of a wire wool on there, clean that up. And, that, and we've got the converter that will convert the old stuff to this new stuff. And then we've got a nice collection of cars that we've acquired over the past few years and we've got like barriers you know we've got tons of barriers runoffs so our plan is or will's plan 
is to set up the scale electrix up here on this floor. Might have moved Billy Bob out of the way. Fingers crossed, it'll go all the way up there, around there somewhere, and then come all the way back and do a loop-a-loop. -loop. And the plan is to basically, if you want to come in the shop, we'll let you know close to the time when we're going to do it. It'll be a Saturday, probably. And you come in, and you've got to race around the track, and we'll just have a bit of a laugh and see who can be the fastest without coming off the track. So stay tuned for that. So that's it, I'm afraid, guys. Like I say, quick little video, just quickly around the shop, how, how things are going. Um, like I said yesterday, off to Toy Fair on the 22nd, so hopefully it will be some ideas of what's going on for this year, what's new, what's coming out, and I'll try and get some sneaky peeks, which I'll put on our Instagram account, which is Toy Box Beckles. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for plenty more videos to come, that would be awesome. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.